every time I hear that music, I want to dance, but I won't bust out. All right. <laughs> Back to school preparation for most families includes buying school supplies, getting the outfits, deciding what we're going to put in those lunch boxes eventually. But what about your children's eyes? Here to make sure that your child can see well and has that perfect 2020 vision is our favorite doctor, Dr. Judy from LensCrafter. Good to see you again. Thanks, Thank you so much for having us. And you brought a friend along. Kennedy. I brought one of my patients, Kennedy Smith. She's adorable. All right. Tell me at what age should a child, if they're not having problems, get their first eye check and why? I usually recommend kindergarten. As soon as they go into school, just like you would get vaccinated, you should get your eyes checked too, even if you're not having any complaints. Even if you don't notice your kids closing one eye, sitting close to the TV, just as a baseline to make sure all is well. And, and in kids versus adults, what are you looking for in that eye checkup? We want to see if there's any complaints. Like Kennedy, she went right away and told her mom that she couldn't even see the blackboard. Okay, tell me what happened in your classroom that day, Kennedy. Um, in first grade, I, my teacher was writing stuff on the board, and I just couldn't, I couldn't see it. It was all blurry. So I went home, I told my mom, and we went and saw that. You weren't doctor. scared to tell your mom or your teacher at all? No, because my mom, she has glasses. So, so it made it I, easier. Yeah. And a lot of times that's true. If the parents wear glasses, they're more in tune to know they should get their kids' eyes checked. But you can see how some kids might be scared to tell their yeah. parents or the teacher that they can't see. What would you tell them? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what's wrong with getting your eyes checked? Okay. All righty. So <laughs> I'm really accelerated in school, too. Oh, hey, well, she looks really anyway, smart anyway. <laughs> she's she's really anyway, well-spoken and everything. So when she came in, how did you know that she really had a problem? <laughs> Because <laughs> she could not even see the big E. <laughs> okay, so the big E that's right there. She couldn't see. Now she's got so many different options. She has those glasses or sunglasses. And just this year, she got contacts. If the child is really responsible, they can do contacts. So she does the daily contacts for sports. But w at what age, you know, would you say? So they have to be responsible. But, like, what age would you start a kid in contacts? I would say the earliest would be seven, eight, nine, if the parents really push it for sports. Like, I've had a lot of soccer players, baseball players, and the parents really want them to get contacts. And you wear contacts for sports, right? Yes. What sports do you do? I do karate. Oh, kar oh, well, 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 stand back. <laughs> <laughs> She's a karate girl. And so how do kids, I guess, help their parents keep their eyes healthy? How do kids help their parents? Yeah, I mean, like, do, do they need to, like, constantly tell their parents, like, what's going on uh, with their eyes? someone yeah. like Kennedy or someone who's already worn glasses, most parents are great and do it every year. They bring them back every year. For someone that has no complaints, then we really hope the teacher or parent will say, okay, my kid has a problem. They'll notice they're sitting close, squinting, headaches, distracted. Sometimes they'll act out in school to get attention. So you try to look, listen for warning signs from your child. And right now you're probably pretty busy at your office. It's in right, Fort Lauderdale, right? School. We're having our big semi-annual 50% off sale. So it's really busy. Everyone's getting ready for school, getting several pairs of glasses and they're not those, now that you can get Tiffany's for kids, you can get cute cases. I mean, now they're really styling. It's not that old four eyes where you don't want to wear our glasses. Okay. People enjoy wearing them. And now 50% off, is that for big people too or just little people? Yes. Semi-annual sale, 50% off all lenses with the purchase of a frame. Okay. And generally, so people have contacts, lenses, and, you know. Exactly. Several, not just one. Most people have lots of options and different frames to match their outfits. Even kids are starting out the same as us adults that want several different pairs to match their outfits. Okay. I, I never wear my glasses that much. I'm a bad girl. What's this stuff and right this here, I Dr. I just Judy? brought a couple of, so I couldn't bring the whole exam lane, obviously, but I just brought a couple of things that we use. This is the ophthalmoscope to check the optic nerve, look in the back of the eye, and usually dilate with this as well to make sure all's healthy. This is the retina. It gives me an estimate of your prescription, a starting point, and then we do which is better, one or two. This is checks the pupils to make sure they react as soon as I shine the light that they constrict. If they dilate, you could have a problem. This is the color vision book, and this tests your color vision. All right. Well, Dr. This Judy, thank you studio. so much. And Kennedy, you've been wonderful. Thank you. It is it's great seeing you. <laughs> and I'm sure you can see me really well, too, with those great-looking glasses, right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much for thank coming you so in. Much. Well, for more information on how you could save your, uh, your uh, eyesight and make it better, uh, visit LensCrafters.com. What is the address of your shop? We're at 1744 North Federal Highway, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so if you need an eye exam, go see Dr. Judy. <laughs> Natalie, over to you. Thanks. All right, Trina, and after you get that done, well, you need to, uh, you know, make sure your kids are going off to school, right?